In this video, we're gonna be adding a Facebook widget to our WordPress website. It's basically just a little thing that shows off your page and your number of likes and people can click buttons and whatnot. Um, in fact, it looks just like this. Uh, there you go, it's one of those. And I will show you how you can add that to your WordPress site in this video, so let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Thanks for dropping by. So, as I said, in this video, we're gonna be adding a Facebook widget to our WordPress website. You can basically add one of these anywhere. You can put them inside a page, you can put them in a sidebar, in a footer, wherever you like, really. Wherever you can paste um, some code, that's fine. So, um, anyway, I'm gonna take you through it step by step. Um, so let's get on the computer and get going. Okay, so I'm over on the website that I'm gonna be adding the Facebook page widget to. Uh, it's this particular page. In fact, the About Us, I just wanna add it over here. Uh, so it's quite a straightforward process. What we're gonna do is head over to Facebook, get a bit of code, and basically copy and paste it. So the page you wanna to go to, I'm just gonna to go to Google, I'm gonna type in Facebook page widget, and press enter. And the first one comes up is this page plugin thingy, which is what we want, because we want one of these things. So you just gotta fill in some things on here. So you have gotta find the uh, your Facebook URL, which you can find just going over to Facebook and looking at your page, and type it in. I know what this one is. I think it's that one. Oh, it's that one. Uh, let's have a look. There we go. So here is the tabs. Normally timeline is just fine. Uh, it kind of just shows some of your posts and whatnot. If you don't want timeline, then just simply uh, remove that out like that. And then you just get a, oh, let me show you. Just get that sort of thing. But I think it's nice to have a couple of um, posts coming up. Why not? You can add other things if you want. Just add commas, so you know events, that sort of thing. You see you get these kind of tabs then. But I'm just gonna leave it as timeline for now. Um, you can set a width and a height. I'm just gonna leave that for now and hopefully it will just fill the space as it should. Uh, you can reduce the size of the header down if you want, make that a little bit smaller. I'll leave it big, it's nice. You can get rid of it completely if you want. Uh, just have it like that. Well, get rid of the cover photo anyway. Uh, leave that to adapt and you can show your friends' faces, which will not be obviously your friends, they'll be whoever's looking at your page's friends. That's quite nice too. So once you're done, you go down here and click Get Code. And um, rather than this sort of stuff, which is a little bit more complicated, we're just gonna go for the iframe. So click over here, iframe, and then click on this thing here. And I'm just gonna copy that to my clipboard with a Control C, Command C on a Mac, which I'm on. So I did a Command C, but Control C on a PC. You get what I'm saying. Uh, go back to um, your page, let's click end it with cornerstone. Now I'm using X thing, which has got a page builder, visual editor type thing, but you basically just want to paste that code wherever you want it on your site. It could be into a widget, a text widget, for example, or you might put it in just in the main body of your page, um, maybe in a column. So I'm gonna put it down here. So I can, uh, with this page builder, and your thing may have a page builder too, maybe visual editor, whatever. I'm just gonna put a text thing in here like that, and then using the text editor here, so again, if you're on a page, make sure that you're in the text and not visual. I'm gonna paste that in. And there it is. Uh, it looks a little bit squashed, but we'll see what it looks like actually when we come out of this preview. It also needs a little bit of space, so um, again, on my page, but I've got a, uh, a gap thing, but again, it depends on your theme, really. I'll put that in like that. Let's click Save. And let's view the page. There it is. Now it is a bit cut off, so I think I'm gonna have to set a width, um, which is fine. So uh, let me just see how wide things are here. So let me see how wide that image is and we'll, we'll go with that. 255, so that's fine. So I'm gonna go back to the, um, the page on Facebook, go up here again and I have to put a width in of two. Hopefully there isn't, a min the minimum one's 80, so that's fine, 255. Come down again, click get code, get the iframe. So yeah, you're gonna have to just adjust width and height if you need to, if it doesn't look quite right on your page. Let's quickly edit that again. Mm, this thing. For some reason I can't select it, so let me just, I can get around this by going into this editor. It's just this 
visual editor thing in, in X thing, but it probably won't be a problem for you. <laughs> Let's get rid of that iframe, put the new one in, click save, click view page. There it is. I think it could be slightly wider. Let me just um, see how wide it needs to be because it's gone over to the left and it doesn't look quite right. So you're just going to have to play around with it yourself um, in terms of you know getting your widget looking right. So it can be a little bit temperamental. I'm just doing this so I can see how wide it needs to be. There we go. So whenever it stops getting wider, it looks like it's 290. Let's go back again one more time and adjust that to 290. There we go. And then get the code one more time. Back and forth all the way. And close that. Edit with Cornerstone. Okay, there we go. I'm sure it's going to be fine now. Let's have a look. There we go. So that concludes this video. Hope you found it useful. If you've got any questions, uh, please leave them below. I'll do my best to help you out. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, please click the like button and subscribe for more videos. Until next time, it's bye for now.